here is cruising. Great jump out. Cruising, you're a star. I definitely would not have done this if cruising hadn't proven himself. He's the only stallion in Ireland who has five stars for eventing and show jumping himself and his progeny. We had two clones, the born, Cruising Arish and Cruising Encore. They had great characters and you could see various things in them that reminded you of cruising. We covered one mare with them when they were two and we have a lovely two-year-old filly. See how quick she is in front? She's picking them up like that. She's very athletic through her back. <laughs> we, we know they have the ability to jump, but there's so much more to nature and nurture to these lads being able to jump to the ability that you would obviously want them. Definitely, we're very pleased with what we see. They can canter down to a nice fence and make a very good shape. And that's the start of it. We go on from there. Well, DNA is a vital part of it. The way that animal turns out is a mixture of its genetic code, but also the environment that it grows up with, and also uh, chance elements, because development and, and life uh, are, are full of chance happenings. And they have an influence on how you turn out as well. And heritability is the sum of that. When you look at the differences between individuals, how much is due to genetic difference and how much is due to everything else, chance and environment. For Molly, I think they have to be, hopefully in a good yard, animals that are reared the right way, handled the right way, brought along the right way. You know, you're going to get the best out of them, I think that's the way to look at it. Good girl. The traditional Irish horse was getting few and far between and we're going to lose these genetics if something's not done. I didn't do it to produce another cruising because I don't think you're going to be able to produce a show jumper as good as cruising. It's got cruising encore and in brackets clone and here is cruising a riche clone. I can't say cloning, supplanting, breeding. It's, it's expensive compared to more established technologies like artificial insemination. It would need to be an exceptional case, an exceptional animal that needs to be cloned, I would have thought. And the one great detriment of cloning is that it's reducing variation. I'd just like to see them jumping to a certain level that people will say, yes, you did the right thing and we're enjoying them and we've got nice stock on the ground. And that's what it's all about, basically.